Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Zerner and in this video I want to show you my custom-made string guitar from Unifox Guitars. It's important to clarify that this is not the American brand from the 60s, but it's a Bulgarian one. First of all, I have this guitar thanks to all the people who supported my campaign last year. They were very generous and I'm very grateful to all of you who made this happen. So, as promised, the names of the contributors are now written on the back of my guitar and I will show them to you now. And there's one more name up here. Now, let me tell you a bit more about this guitar. It's a multi-scale 8 string, I play in standard tuning, so in this case it goes all the way down to low F sharp, so yeah, it chants. It's a neck true, which I love because it gives more sustain and also very comfortable access to the highest frets. It has a metal neck with a scalloped fingerboard, I hope you can see that here. It actually doesn't make the playing easier, but it gives you more control of the string, especially when it comes to the vibrato, something that I like to call a 3D vibrato. The scalping allows you to bend the string in one additional direction, so it gives very smooth transition between the pitches, and the vibrato becomes very beautiful and dramatic. The neck is very thin and comfortable. The thickness goes from 20 millimeters here, the first fret, to 21 and the 12th fret, which of course requires carbon reinforcement, so it has one. The neck has a compound radius starting from 15 inches up to 20 inches up here, and the width goes from 58 millimeters at the nut up to 78 millimeters up here. It has large jumbo frets, in this case 29, which I actually use. And of course it has my custom moon face in lace, which I designed by myself. I went for a multi-scale, in this case 25.5 inches on the top end and 27 on the bottom because it follows the hand movement more naturally. You can see the angle of the arm actually corresponds to the angle of the frets. And also this is the reason why the stride fret is number 9 here, because this is where my arm forms a 90 degree angle to the neck. Another important thing is that string tension is distributed much better and you don't have to deal with this annoying problem of having 1st string too tight while 8th string becomes sloppy, so it's a kind of kill two birds with one stone thing. The guitar has an arch top body made from passwood and the top is from a wood called emery or framire or hundreds different other names you can check on Wikipedia. The guitar is equipped with scalar tremolo system. I will put the link to this model into the description and I will do a separate video about Kaler because it has a lot of cool features and it will be easier to explain all the details in another video. I'm using EMG pickups. These are a set of 808X, which are awesome pickups, I love them, and I will do another video especially for them. You can find the link in the description. About the controls, I actually never used a tone control, so I've got only a volume pot here. The switching system is a bit odd. I designed it for my personal needs because I hate searching for the correct position during a live performance. So the system consists of two switches. This one changes between the bridge humbucker and the second position, which is selectable by the smaller switch. It changes between neck humbucker and middle position. I've done this because I almost never used the neck humbucker alone, but I used the middle position a lot, especially for clean sounds. So essentially I leave the small switch 
fixed to middle position and I operate with the big one changing from this hamburger to middle position. Here I've got locking nut from Kaler and got all tuners. And I've been asked a lot about why I designed the tuners like that. As you can see there are five on the bottom and three on the top. That's because I think of the 8-string guitar as a combination of 5 strings for chords and soloing and 3 strings for bass notes and riffs and this kind of thing. It's just my way of understanding. <laughs> and of course I've got strap lock system. This one is from Shallow because such system is a must for every guitar player who values their instrument. I've seen a lot of unpleasant scenarios, so if you don't have strap locks, please go and get some. The guitar simple jack is placed a bit like on the Ibanez Jam and Universe angled. I find this very practical solution to keep your cable safe, no matter if you play sitting or standing with a strap and putting the cable behind the strap like many people do, you know, it's a very common practice. That's more or less everything about this guitar. It's a wonderful instrument, beautiful, versatile and very comfortable to play and I'm very happy to have the opportunity of getting a custom-made guitar built especially for me according to my personal needs. And yeah, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I will be glad to answer. Thanks for watching and see you soon!